what is going on guys it is a saturday and i'm officially rocking my own little bit of merch now which is awesome so i'm up in uh, wigland today over in wales and i'm going to be reviewing kirsten's toyota civic as well today so we're on the way up to some place i don't know where she's taking me to Sheepville, I think, and then uh, once we go up there, we'll get out, do a walkabout, and tell you what this Toyota is all about. <laughs> so let's get there uh, and get some footage. As you can see, it's very bouncy, the road itself and the car. Uh, you can probably also hear it's also quite loud, so we'll uh, get a bit of a video up and see what we can find. We're currently literally in the middle of Wingland, which looks very nice. All of uh, Kirsten's friends up here. We've got Larry, Bill, Bob, Steve, Jerry, they're all out in the field enjoying us. You can see it there. But uh, yeah, I will say um, it's a beautiful surroundings. Beautiful set of surroundings up here. And here, hay bales as well. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not up here dogging. So. So this is Kirsten's Toyota Civic, as we know it's not, it's a Toyota Corolla, non-compressor, so I'm a little bit upset about that. I did tell her, Kirsten, get a compressor, and she fucking didn't, so we've just got the 1.8 VVT Li. But uh, yeah, do you know what, it's a cool little car, and we're going to do a little walk around today, and have a little talk about it, some of the mods what it goes like, what it sounds like, and what it does. So let's walk around. So we do like a girl who's dirty under the bonnet. Stock engine, stock intake, but we have got what looks like a very nice factory strut brace, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, it's factory. It's factory, there we go. We've got a sub cable for the sub she hasn't actually got yet because she can't get one to work, which is ideal. But more importantly, We've got these actually fully adjustable top mounts, which um, are complemented by a set of BC racing coilovers all round. So the handling is actually very sublime, both for handling, but also for comfort. So, yeah, um, I have to admit, I've had Lexuses in my time, and I do like the kind of Toyota TTE, Lexus TTE kits they have on. All their vehicles and this is obviously one on the Corolla here so there we go I think it's got a I think this front end is a TT front end I don't know 100% it's definitely not it's definitely not on others I have seen the side skirts on other variants like SRs and stuff like that I know it's part of the kit and I've also seen the rears on some other more standard models as well but it's very rare to find a genuine TTE rear spoiler as well which you can see there there we go. And uh, yeah, it's offset in what is kind of a nice, I would say, champagne silver. It's probably not right, but it's kind of a dark silver. I had it next to the Jag of mine and it was a lot darker. So it's kind of like a, a bronzy silver. Obviously, like all the cars we review, she's got Hikos on there. And uh, we've also got some very glorious stickers. We could almost do an Adam C sticker showcase, but I'm not that bent. But we do have, in fact, Revamp. Big shout out to Revamp. There's our tag for all of you weirdos that want to message her about her boobs, boobs and Virginie in the uh, in the chat. You know, Empire Southwest, of course. And then we've just got to stress the point that this is a L. I not just a V V T I. It's a L I. So this features lift as well as variable valve timing, so you get both, which is awesome. And you'll see what that does in just a minute. Quite long, it is quite a 
come. So there's a lot to remind you on the car that's a T-Sport. We've got the T-Sport on the front, on the front. I like how she's put it on the Sunstrip as well. Walking round to the back, my favourite part of any car. We have the aftermarket exhaust. So she's got these gorgeous little T-Sport 16s, which are quite nice. I'm gonna try and give the one that's least dirty because this is Wingland, so as we know, it's very dirty. Um, and sat behind these, um, she has got um, slotted and drilled front and rears at the moment as it stands and with better pads and she's got what looks like mid-range tyres on the front and the rear as well I think so quite a good setup for going around track not that she ever does that but definitely enough grip for the older Wingland roads so let's get in this thing and stop listening to me chatting utter crap <laughs>
bit of power, a bit of a step up from a slower, smaller engined car, then this is fairly ideal. So pre facelifts with poor mileage, poor condition will sit around a thousand. And some of the good models of these, I think I've seen hit in four, five, six grand, depending on the mileage and condition. So I would definitely say to look out for one of these and recommend adding it to your itinerary list for vehicles to look at if you're looking at something like a Civic. The thing is, is the Civics as well are prices are crazy at the minute and they're continuing to go up. So you do here have a car which is a fairly competitive vehicle, um, but for you know a fraction of the price and they're rarer. And equally, I think, in my opinion, my opinion of course, that I'd say it's just as good looking as the equivalent um, Type R at the time, EP3. So I would go ahead and add this to your list of cars to look at when you go look for one. So it comes with double cubbies. We've got a nice one for your mass, obviously, hashtag coronavirus. And then we've got the stiffest, like, so much money in there that I can open it. So you've got a little money pouch in there as well. There we go, just a bit stiff. <laughs> yeah, pretty basic interior as you'd imagine for this age of Japanese car. It's got myself a uh, nice little um, Korean special head unit in there, but it's functional and works. So, nice little place to be, really, for what it is. I like the old little digital displays. It's got So one thing these Corollas are good for, from what I've been reading and hearing about, is reliability. So, Kirsten's had this car now for about six months. Is there anything you've had to pay for or replace in the time of owning it? Now, I know this doesn't dictate anything because anything can happen with cars, and there's, there's so many factors that come into that. But in the six months, have you had to do anything? So I hope you enjoyed the video and we're going to have more crazy car reviews coming soon with a large variety of cars, fast and slow, big and small and everything in between. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I will catch up with you guys very soon on the next one. If you do have an interesting car, any car, like I said before, anything at all, as long as it's got four wheels and I'm not going to probably die or get arrested going out in it, um, then message me, Instagram me facebook me whatever you wish to come and get down involved with your car and get it on the youtube i want to get these reviews flourishing so bye for now and see you again very soon